Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this cupcakes, first I'm going to be making kind of like this stencil. And for that, I'm going to be using a piece of paper and a pen, one of these pens. And I'm going to be tracing the shape of a pen. And then I'm going to be adding a little more uh, to make this a bit bigger, like two millimeters. And then I'm just going to be making this bigger. The reason I just did all this instead of like tracing a bigger shape is because I didn't find anything bigger that wasn't too big. I'm going to be making this like circle and then I'll use a chapstick for the petals. Doing the same thing as I did with the pen, tracing the circles around it. And if you follow kind of like this, like sizes, it will give you five petals because what I'm following is Marc Jacobs Daisy's petals. And so, well, they have a shape on them. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not like this round one. And so I'm tracing another circle and basing myself from that to just work on the shape. I'm looking at images online while I do this for reference. But yeah, once I'm done, I'm going to be cutting this. For my toppers, I'm going to be using some fondant. I do have a review for this one that I'm using, it's by Wilton. And I'm going to roll this fondant with my roller. In this case, I'm using this one by Wilton, using my stencil. And to get the shape, I'm using an X-Acto knife. I have like two blades that one I only use for fondant and the other one I use for clay, but you can use a kitchen knife as well. Following the pattern, working with one like petal at a time. Then I'm going to be using a toothpick to just mark a tiny spot in the middle and then using a straw that is about this size, marking the circle in the middle. I'm looking at the mark that I made with my toothpick to the straw itself and then I'm just going to be cutting this as if it was cookie cutter. For my cupcake, I'm using a starbot butter, a vanilla one, and then my frosting and that I do have that review for this frosting is a star bought by Betty Cracker using my Wilton 1M making a swirl. And yeah, this is pretty much the Marc Jacobs inspired daisy toppers that I wanted to share with you. They're actually really easy to make. I went for plain white frosting, but you can frost your cupcakes like in blue, just anything else, and that will make the uh, daisies pop a lot more. But I think with white, they look cute anyways, but yeah, I really like them and I think they turned out super cute. Hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more easy cupcake decorations that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye. I, I went for... Uh, I, I, uh,